Uh... Okay. Let's do it legit. What's up, Nesco? Loving the Donkey Kong series? Thanks. It's about to end. <laughs> Let's fight Rare Hunter again. But this time, we are going to do a prediction. <sighs> All right. Will we get obliterated by Exodia? This will go for one minute. Go. Use your channel points. This dude was so weird on the anime. Yeah. If you make the correct prediction, what's gonna happen? Oh, we got some no's. Hmm. Oh shit, here we go again. 10 versus 890. Really? Again? That's the spirit? It's a shame that I'll have to show you that spirit alone will not help you win this tournament. Well, I've got something better than spirit. I've got an opening hand Exodia. <laughs> There's no way he Exodias you twice in a row. He might. Alright, so a lot of you are saying no. That's good. Let's find out. I'm glad you all have faith. Because here's an opening hand Exodia and we die immediately. <sighs> okay, cool. <laughs> he could have. <laughs> oh my god, he could have. Okay. Giant rat. Gonna make some profit. Alright, alright. Ooh, that was a normal monster he got rid of. Yeah, look at that shit. That's normally how an Exodia deck goes. When you're playing rules of, you know, hey, we didn't ban any cards. How many did he get rid of? Skellengel, Sangan, yeah, he, wow. Impressive. Impressive indeed. Call of the Haunted. You know what? Nah, I don't want you getting that back. Let's see if I lose my money. Okay. See, this is such a good strategy that the AI has, and you have to, like, bust through a wall in order to beat them properly. Oh, just a trap card, okay. Giant soldier. You know what, Raigeki? Oh, oh. Pfft. Jar of Greed. Draw that one card, bruh. While I, you know, hit you with a bunch of rocks. I hope you don't mind. I think you can only have one negate attack per... De Way to prove me wrong. I was about to say one per deck, but apparently you can have up to three, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> when things get dire. Use Dark Hole. <laughs> Petite dragon. Get out of here. Oh, he has so many life points. Die! Your stalling tactics won't work this time. And actually, the AI is programmed to never use the Exodia pieces unless forced to, to defend life points. I think that's how that goes. Alright, this is gonna put a big old dent in those life points. But I think we might have him everything back. Boom. Oh, it's gonna be close. Thousand. Okay, he's not dead this turn, it'll be next turn. Niskel, what is your theme on PS4? Persona 5. Because of course it is.
Excellent. Pot of greed. The hell does this do? Oh, it gives me the win. Dark hole. I'm just going to attack him directly. Sc screw this nonsense. <laughs> I feel like being a dick. Swear to God, though. If he has a Karibo... Okay, good. Yay, we won! Hooray! Well... Good job, everyone. Thank you for all who believed in me. Oh, come on, iPad. Really? Ugh, fine. Exodia. That's right. You all believed in me. Choose the outcome. We did not get obliterated by Exodia. Good job, everyone. There you go. Enjoy your channel points. To the one person who said yes. Fit. Oh, that was fun. There are still more opportunities to win your channel points back. No worries about that. Alright, uh, Black Skull Dragon. White Magical Hat. Maybe some other time. Well, that was fun. Uh, let's find some other ghouls to pick on. Let's pick on Arcana. Oh yeah, high five! Now let Konami know to ban Dark Hole. Are you kidding me? That's what won it for me! I am the better Dark Magician player. Uh, not a bad hand to start out with. A little bit of bait to get this thing started. Ooh, that's a nasty card. I didn't know you had that. Least favorite character in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh... I don't know. Everyone has their quirks that I enjoy. But I will say, I felt the... I know the fourth season was entirely filler. But that didn't stop the character from being, like, bad. <laughs> Just bring it right back, I guess. Feel like being a douche today, yeah. This will just continuously start a trend of Arcana completely getting wrecked by my deck, just to prove how more superior I am at using Dark Magician. I kind of like that. This is still part of the Dark Side Niskel anime arc, I guess. The one where I go mad with power. Actually, apart from losing to Exodia, I haven't lost. I would say we're doing really good this stream. Yeah, I'm, I'm being an absolute douche. Right, Gekki. And we win. Arcana again. You had no chance, brother. I'm sorry. 
deadified. Can we do Joey next? If he's around. Not bad. Not good either. Play Joey, it'll level you out. Alright. Where's the faith? We beat him today! Huh, you're, you're kinda right. If we get him up to nine wins, we'll never have to play Joey again. So let's see if we can knock him out. Knock out Brooklyn Boy. Well, do it with me, that's fine. I've beefed up my deck with actual stakes. All right. Hey, Ike. Go duel against Kaiba? Maybe next. Duels with Kaiba go one of two ways. Horrifically bad, or piss easy. We'll see what kind of Kaiba we get today. Summon a monster. Something to sacrifice. You know the beaver warrior who is a lot of trash. I hate it. Kaiba either destroys you or destroys himself. Most of the time, yeah. With an amazing amount of consistency. It happens pretty much every time. I think the last episode I just uploaded of the Yu-Gi-Oh! VODs was him bringing out Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon, bringing out another monster, and then using Torrential Tribute. Like, why? You won, and then you gave me the win. So, yeah. Sometimes it be like that. Alright, I need something out on the field just to bait and since I have total defense Shogun he can actually attack things and because of total defense Shogun I just realized the Shogun is actually a counter against mirror force of all things yeah there's gear free the Iron Knight just to attack a poor Skellingel come to these streams exclusively to watch games I barely understand the rules of. It certainly is an experience. Like, eventually we'll get to Yu-Gi-Oh! games that not even I will comprehend. So then we'll be on a level playing field. Out of the Cornetto trilogy, what was your opinion on The World's End? It was okay. Not nearly as good as Hot Fuzz, and not as good as Shaun of the Dead. It was enjoyable. So as a revealing light, I can't let you do that, Wheeler. Get rid of Dark Magician. And then he brings out Monster Reborn, and then I'm sad. Okay, cool. You got face down. I will take alligator sword. It is now being used as a sacrifice. Wow! No trap hole. No nothing. Let's see what total defense shogun can do. I actually won. Wow. Okay, cool. Get dunked on, Wheeler. The despair arc continues. <laughs> I will not be defeated by anyone. Wheeler, you need to lose two more times and then I'll be satisfied because I'll never have to fight you again. What does Needleball do? Oh, that's that one. Okay, cool. Axe Raider might be good. Maybe. All right. We have an even streak with Seto Kaiba. Let's change that. Let's get a win. Let's get a win, baby. Crap.
Come on, turn one, Cyberstein. Coward. <laughs> Ooh, Mystical Elf. Good way to begin this. Yeah, do your thing, Kaiba. Either win it for me or steamroll me. Ah, uh, that's a good start. Yeah, that's a good start. Actually, I just realized there's another strategy that I think would be really funny. And I really hope he does it. If you actually send Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon back to his hand, it actually goes back to his fusion deck. Which means he'll have to summon it again! Get into my elf out, giant rat. Please tell me I have my second rat in here. Thank you. All right, so he's got some pretty powerful monsters out here right at the beginning. I'm gonna save my Karibo. Has a game ever scared you? Uh, no, not really. Unless you're talking about, like, Resident Evil Remake when it first came out. Because I'm afraid of zombies. Oh! Well, that's not good. Yeah, that's really not good. I missed niceness because the darkness must end. Well, it's about to right now. I'm about to get my ass kicked. Ah. Uh... Oh, well, yeah, we gotta do it. <laughs> it's my only defense right now. Ah, oh, God, this is gonna hurt. Another 3,800 attack. Oh, I want to use Karibo, but uh, I'll take the damage. It's fine. Seven tools. All right. Here we go. This is going to set off fireworks. I'm either going to die this turn, or I'll be safe. I don't think this is going well. Give it some time. Summon Styberstein. I dare you. Oh, Regeki! Get the fuck out of here, Kaiba! Slate Warrior face down. That's a good move. Horse Raider in attack mode. Slate Warrior. Thank you. Put that face down. Screw over that Horse Raider. Dispel. There we go. Dark Magician. Yami. Not a damn thing I can use. Ugh. <sighs> Crap! Okay. Put that there. Ah, uh, I want to see what one of his face down cards are. All right, first person to yell out, left, middle, or right. Which one are we looking at? Whoever's first. Left, got it. Magic Jammer, I already knew that shit. <laughs> um, alright. We are kinda sorta boned here. Uh, you said that. Alright. Oh, when did I set seven tools? last turn, wasn't it? Alright, if he has a blue-eyes white dragon, he's going to summon it, which means I can trap hole it. I'm gonna save my seven tools in case he has a seven tools. There's the blue eyes! Hello, beautiful! Goodbye, beautiful! Ha 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 ha! Yes! Ah, that's glorious, and that's even more glorious. Ah, excellent. Now, that's his Slate Warrior. That's bad. That's really bad, so you know what? I'm gonna say, screw the rules, Gemini Elf, get out of here. Total Defense Shogun. And he's going to attack Slate Warrior. 
and basically going to amount to a wall right now. Until Magic Cylinder comes out. Um... That's okay. I, I will take that. Because I want to kill Slate Warrior. He can't have anything else on the field. Okay. Ooh, it lowers defense, too. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Now Monster Reborn it. That's the plan. Yai, yai, yai! Yep, Karibo, you're taking that. And another card face down. Stop it! Dark Magician Girl. Well, I was winning. Torrential tribute me, coward! Shit! <laughs> I was hoping he would! No! I need something to help me get out Jinzo. That'll work! Fissure! I knew he had magic jammer. I already knew that. Son of a bitch! Okay. Last ditch ever. Karibo is a good boy. A Yaiba Robo? Bite me, Kaiba. You knew exactly what my defense points were. Oh, come on, Penguin Warrior, something! Change of heart! Ooh! Yes! Nope, no, 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 nope, not the girl, not the girl. But he has Regeki in his hand! Damn it, I lost! To Kaiba, again! Fucker won't stop winning! <laughs> All right, I'm waiting for it. Just bend over and take it. There it is, boom! Did you fuck? God! He has so many powerful monsters! God! Ah! Oh. Son of a bitch! Well, it wasn't as much of a steamrolling as I expected. And now Mokubo's gonna get in the way, so you know what? I need a punching bag. <sighs> but I'm not a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. If Kaiba beats you nine times, does he also get to never fight you again? Uh, not exactly. You can- I think you can keep playing these people infinitely. need Ring of Destruction in your deck, it would help a lot with Ultimate Blue Eyes White Dragon. Exactly, that's an instant win. If he is able to summon it with Cyberstein. I can't remember what pack Ring of Destruction is in. I think it's actually for beating the ghouls. Because we still get special reports for rare hunters. So if I can get another one of those, I can possibly get Exodia again, and also Ring of Destruction. That is such a good strategy, by the way, Ike. I pay 5,000 life points to summon Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Cool. Ring of Destruction. We both get got, but you get got more. Sorry about your luck, pal. You are a piece of shit. Oh yeah, man, that hurts me so much. Man, really? Every time I think I have a leg up on my opponent, you just, like, instant destruction. Yeah, here you go. Enjoy your regeki. Enjoy your dark hole. Enjoy your change of heart. Ow. <laughs> there you go. Eat this. Serpent down, so Polymerization and Magician of Black Chaos. I can work with this. 
And if I need to, I could just ditch Magician of Black Chaos to help power up Dark Magician Girl. Because believe it or not, Arcana does not have Dark Magician Girl. He just has Dark Magicians. And right now, he's got nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. STUPID SEXY DARK MAGICIAN! Don't attack my... Slate Warrior, don't do it, don't do you did the thing! But at least it powered him up. Wow, he really has nothing. I almost feel bad. Like, wow. Oh, Celtic Guardian. He's going to attack my Silver Fang. Why? What? Okay. <laughs> Stupid sex to Flanders. Oh, hidely ho, neighbor Reno! You want me to send what? Rod, Todd, what are nudes? I don't know, Dad! I don't want to think about that. It's going weird places. It's like if you find the wrong Buru. I don't want him to have two monsters. That's not good. Graceful charity. Oh, there it is! That has to be a dark magician. But why wouldn't he... I, I'm not gonna ask questions. I'm not... I'm just gonna... Just gonna do one of these things. Oh, a magic jammer. Wow! You did it. Now let's see what that face-down card is. Call of the Haunted. Alright. So whatever I kill, he's going to bring back immediately. That was a great strategy, actually. Let's be real, if, if Flanders played Yu-Gi-Oh, he'd get the instant god card to win the duel. He would try to find the Jesus card, try to summon it. Send Genjin! Ooh, a, a nice, delicious 2750 attack, damn. Ring of Destruction is not in this game. I checked the game facts. It's in this game. Because Merrick uses it. Hell, Kaiba uses it. Son of a bitch. Well, I was winning. I think it's called Bell of Destruction in this game. It's not actually Ring of Destruction. It is Bell of Destruction. Genjin. It would have been nice to destroy with its 2200, but. or 2250, whatever it is, but. nah. I need a monster. <laughs> Please. Ah, uh, this is gonna suck. I need to be able to summon Magician of Black Chaos, or I need the ability to summon a freaking monster. I'm getting... The tides have turned. Bell of Destruction is in the Yellow Millennium Puzzle Booster Pack. Gotcha. Ah, uh, this blows. Oh, this really blows. I'm not even gonna die via his Dark Magician. Ow. No, please stop. Ow. <sighs> I may have bought myself one turn. Part of the cards is the only way you're getting out of this? Yeah, because there's a Zengenjin. Oh, a Seiryu! Really? 
Okay. Oh, this might be exactly what I need. Oh! Sinister. Dark Magician. Pot of Greed. Change of Heart! Come here, you beautiful card! Steal your seer, you. And I, uh, oh, there it is. Summon, summon skull. Are you, are, are you putting passwords in my chat so that I can cheat in this game? Is that, is that what you're doing right now? Because I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. I might throw in some passwords just to get the ball rolling. Because I'm getting close to running out of reasons to play this, I guess. I mean, we only have three more characters to beat, and being able to get some really overpowered cards just to start out would be great. And speaking of great, you know what? I'm gonna kill you with your Dark Magician because it looks cooler. There we go. All buffed up and powerful. You know what? I'll throw my little... Kid Icarus boy over here. Oh, that is true. It is part of the game. <laughs> it's a built-in mechanic. I'm so glad that Yu-Gi-Oh! hasn't decided to put in pay-to-win mechanics yet. But then again, I haven't played every Yu-Gi-Oh! game, so they might be in, like, the, the phone one, maybe? Because you're already buying the cards, and that's already, like, evil. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Oh, baby girl! You looking great! Duel Links has that. Well, okay, never mind. <laughs> Owie. Just brought it back. Brought it back. Yeah, brought it back. Now, just imagine if we were playing by the rules where cards were banned. I wouldn't have won that because I relied on Graceful Charity and then Pot of Greed to get me the cards I needed. Magician of Black Chaos, Meteor Dragon, Meteor Black Dragon, Trihorn Dragon. Man, this is an urgent announcement for all participating duelists. Hey, here we go. Our chance to get Exodia the Forbidden One. To think we were about to lose to Arcana. Yeah, perish the thought. Okay, I think I'm actually going to take the ghouls up on that. But before I do that... Save state. Yukihiro, my son's classmate, got a perfect score. That's freaking amazing. You ready to participate in Target Week? Who's my targets? Uh, Bakora, kind of interested. Mishizu Ishtar, kind of interested. Okay, cool, so two Millennium Item Wielders. We got it. Wish I kept all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, especially very rare cards that are worth a lot of money. Yeah, I used to have complete sets of Legend of Blue Eyes of all the first six sets, I think. I had complete sets. And I sold them for stupid reasons. I don't know why. Just all of a sudden I was like, this is for kids. I don't want it anymore. And then I regret it years later. Garbo. Come out, rare hunters. Come out, come out wherever you are. I'm hunting for rare hunters. If you can't seem to win a duel, give up and go home. Hey, here we go. Who wants to bet it's Arcana? Destiny cannot be changed. If meeting me here is your destiny, then leaving behind a card was fated to be. I am Odeon. Here we go, we got a fight against the Trap Master. Let's see if we can win rare cards. Uh, not a 
bad hand. I don't have to worry about him destroying my monsters, really. I have to worry about how many traps he's going to lay on turn one. And of course, Vorse Raiders out of nowhere. The fact that first edition Dark Magician Girl card is worth 50k. I think mine's unlimited, which sucks, but it's still in pretty good condition. The odds I'm going to be able to keep this. Very low! Alright! Ooh, and a magic thorn. Let me read that. You can inflict 500 points of damage per your opponent's life points when their cards are discarded to the graveyard. Okay, by discarding. Got it. My parents got rid of it because they thought it was too cultish. I feel that. That's probably why Konami got rid of a lot of the pentagrams. And why it's so cool to actually see... Uh, if you remember earlier in the stream, I was talking about the old artwork coming back. All five Exodia pieces are in there with the pentagram. So it's no longer like the Spellbinding Circle or whatever it, whatever it was. It's cool. I like seeing that original artwork come back. Odeon's actually putting up a fight, and I don't like it. Widespread Ruin is such a mean card. Yikes. Yep, here comes Slate Warrior. I might actually lose this. Because here comes Vorse Raider. They're all 1900. He has never put up this much of a fight in the years I've been playing this. It's always just like, hey, my first turn I'm gonna put one card face down and five trap cards. If this is a trap hole, I've lost. Load state! <laughs> 